All right, so I know I haven't uploaded in like three weeks, but just ignore all that for a second because Nintendo dropped a Nintendo Direct today and they announced a new 2D Mario game and it looks really good. I've already seen like all the trailers for everything in the Direct and it honestly everything does look really cool, but I just wanted to take a closer look at this trailer because I am excited for this game. I haven't been this excited for a game in a very long time. Let's check it out. So it starts off with this like flower thing, which reminds me of Undertale first off, but like that's besides the point. But at first, look, I mean, look at Mario. It's it's such a weird style, but I do honestly really like it. It's almost like a like a painted style, but it's obviously like a 3D model, I'm pretty sure. But everything in this game is so styled so differently and uniquely, and I really like it. But yeah, I think everybody thought this was a power-up at first, but then he just ran past it. But yeah, I mean, look at this! This is this is such a fresh breath of air for the Mario series that I really feel like it needed, and I'm really excited for this. I mean, look at the Goomba! Bro was just sleeping! You, didn't act, you, you actually really didn't have to do that, to be honest. Bro was just an innocent bystander. But yeah, as you can see there by the great and super, they got rid of the score. The score has always been like kind of a weird thing in like 2D Mario games. And it seems like they've gotten rid of it in place of these like great super like adjectives just for like combos and everything. I don't know if it like gives you anything extra. It probably just makes you feel better. But now that I'm looking at it, this, there's also like a reserve power up thing that there was in like Super Mario 3D World. I'm pretty sure it was. Um... That's interesting. I don't, I, I didn't really notice that until now, but th that's interesting. Look, look at these dudes. Look, look, look how goofy they all look. Oh, it's so exciting. I'm so happy that they finally listened to the concerns that everybody had about the new Super Mario Bros. series and they actually like made it unique. I'm so excited for this. Why is the flower talking? But, uh, and look at them, they're roller skating. It's so cute. Shut up, bro. We don't want to hear a flower talk. I mean, look at that. It's so cute. It's so stylized. I love it. I love it. I mean, just look at this. I think I've seen a lot of reactions to this and everybody thought this was like an ice flower, but I thought this, I, I knew it wasn't that. I thought it was just something completely new, but Mario's just full on taking shrooms now. I mean, good for him, I guess. I mean, he's been doing it this entire time. He may as well just take some real ones, but I want to know. I want to say something about this as well because it looks like they brought the um, purple coins from Super Mario Odyssey to this game, and it, as you can see in the top left corner, it looks like they have like a decimal system. So like, I guess one probably equals 0.1. Yeah, that's what it looks like, which is kind of weird. Um, maybe you'll be able to like buy cosmetics or something, something interesting like that. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, and there's a timer at the top, so there's gonna be time challenges. Oh my goodness, dude. Look at this. This is so cool. And bowling. I love bowling. Look at this. And they get rid of the goalpost. Like, the Wonder Seat. I'm assuming this is probably gonna be a replacement for the Star Coins. Um, Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Honestly, how do you guys truly feel about the name of the game? Because. I don't know if I'm really that big of a fan. It's not bad, and I feel like honestly it does fit the game pretty well, but it almost feels like a name for like a fan-made game, you know? And honestly, in a, a couple ways, this almost looks like a fan-made game, but like in a really good way. Like it looks like they put so much time into this. And like, this is very, very uh, unexpected almost. Because, I mean, with the way that the new Super Mario Bros. series was going, I mean, it really just seemed generic. But, I mean, they they haven't released one besides, like, the deluxe version of you in years. So, obviously, they were, they've probably been working on this for a very long time. Luigi, obviously, I'm very excited. Peach. So, that's going to be interesting because they're going to have a unique story for this if you're going to be able to play as Peach. Obviously, Yellow Toad. Rest in peace, Blue Toad. Daisy. Daisy of all people, they couldn't add Wario or Waluigi, but they could add Daisy. But I mean, Daisy's cool. I mess with Daisy. Looks like they're uh, copying Sonic a little bit there with the railings, but yeah, this is all very cool. It looks like you can play as pretty much whoever you want, even in single player, so you don't have to just play it. Yoshi, Yoshi, so you don't just have to play as Mario. I, I'm so happy they brought back Yoshi. Yoshi is such an integral part of Mario. I'm so happy. 
This looks so cool. What the heck is that? Oh, that might be like a Super Mario Bros. 2 thing. Or new, yeah, new Super Mario Bros. 2. This is insane. Yoshi, I really, this is honestly the whole reason why I wanted to do this whole like look back thing. Because look at this. It's four Yoshis on the screen. No Mario people, you know? So it looks like either there may be like a separate mode where you can play as Yoshis, like there was in New Super Mario Bros. DS. Or maybe that you maybe you could play as Yoshi. Who knows? But I honestly I'm really excited to see what this is all about. I really am. And that's that's the whole reason why I wanted to um do this whole like looking back at the trailer video because nobody talked about that. And this ending, it's just it's so interesting. It's so interesting. What the heck? That is not Toad. That is not Toad. I thought Nintendo didn't like making original characters. Don't screw up Paper Mario and then go and do this bullcrap, Nintendo. I'm on to you guys. Yeah, I, I, I am really excited for this. I think I think this is a really cool direct. It's coming out this year. I think it's going to be a really cool direction for the series. I'm really excited. But look at this. This part is so weird. Like, Whoa, Zowie. wowie zowie. <laughs> this looks so weird. It looks so weird. I can almost understand like the cat power up in 3D world because I mean, cats are like, they're a household. Everybody has a cat, you know? But an elephant? This just seems so random. Like, what is it even going to be able to do? An elephant killed this woman, 70 years old, got stampled to death by this elephant. And the funeral later that night, the elephant came back and they took the body off the pyre and then trampled over her corpse again. Is that Goomba looks so sweet. Well, then. All right, Bo, we don't need you to be, like, sarcastic. We didn't ask for any attitude. It's so weird looking. It's so funny. I love it. I'm so excited for this. Absolutely crazy, honestly. I'm really excited to see what this game has in store and everything else. Honestly, I'm just very excited. I think this Nintendo Direct, they really needed this one. It's, it's, they had a lot of good games in this one. And I'm very excited to see what they go, go from here. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of the game and the name and everything. Just let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm very excited. Are you excited? Hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. If so, that's why your shoes raggedy. That's why your mama dead. Dead as hell. What shoes she got on? What shoes she had on her casket?